Don't worry, even though you are a beautiful unique snowflake just like you are, your facial asymmetry can be fixed quite easily actually. Or made a lot worse if you try some of the common ways people are recommending. What have I done? What the heck is facial asymmetry? When one side of your face is different from the other side of your face. One cheekbone might be more prominent, your chin may stick out in one direction more than the other, one eye may be higher than the other, your lips may be uneven, your nostrils may be different, that's a really common one, and even where one side of your face is just larger than the other or the entire side is higher up than the other side. Now here's the secret to fixing it. You have to know what is causing your asymmetry and use the specific tool to fix that problem. Otherwise, you'll make things worse. Let's say one side of your face is more muscular and defined than the other. If that asymmetry is caused by only chewing on one side and you try to fix it by applying tongue pressure to the other side, you're gonna mess up your face and you're gonna look like a Picasso painting. A rich art collector will buy you legally, use you as a tax write-off, and then hang you in a fancy French museum and you will just be praying for the day that someone puts an end to it for you. It happened to my cousin Skinzy. I just, I don't want it to happen to you. <laughs> know what the problem is before you try and fix it. The fantastic news is facial asymmetry is caused by your habits. And we'll see very soon which habits are causing them. Not by your genetics. That's great news. That means we can fix it with a daily routine of a few certain stretches and exercises that I'm about to show you. Soon enough, you won't have a good side. You won't have to turn your face to the side when someone's taking a photo. Both sides will be good. That sounds awesome. Oh! I'm here to help you do that. I'm actually here to help you do a lot of things, but I can't help you if you never answer when I call, man. You never pick up. I'm not mad. I'm I'm just upset. <laughs> Hit subscribe and show some support. It really hurts when you leave me on red. Let's look at six habits that are causing asymmetry. We'll diagnose which one you're doing, and then I'll show you the exercises to fix it. You should probably pay close attention to all of them because you're doing a combination of these. It's rare that you're only doing one of these. If you've tried mewing, stick around for number six. That's where a lot of people get it wrong. And number four is the one that caused my asymmetry. Quick disclaimer, none of this f***ing matters. Some of the most attractive and famous people in the world have asymmetrical faces, and no one even notices. No one has even noticed that your face is asymmetrical symmetrical except you. Has anyone actually said to you, Hey Sally, did you know your face is asymmetrical? Yeah, you have facial asymmetry. It's heaps weird. No, nobody has even noticed. Asymmetry is completely normal, so get over it. You've got bigger problems you should be worrying about. But that's cool if you want to fix it. I'm going to show you how. Just keep things in perspective. You are beautiful just the way you are. You are beautiful. Chewing on one side. This one sounds super obvious to everyone, but people still do it. Are you doing it? If I work out my right arm at the gym every day and not my left arm, should I be surprised if my right arm's bigger and stronger than my left? No, but people chew on one side of their face and that muscle gets bigger and that side gets more defined and they have asymmetry and they're surprised. Chewing on one side will build the muscle, the masseter muscle. You have more tension in one side. How to fix it? Obviously, you need to chew on both sides. Next time you eat, think about the main side that you're chewing on, consciously tell yourself, this mouthful I'm gonna eat on this side, this next mouthful I'm gonna eat on this side. Oh, and as an extra tip, of course, if one side's bigger, it's gonna take a long time chewing soft regular food to build up the other side. There's a way you can speed up the development of the other side. Chew mastic gum. It's a chewing gum that's 10 times harder than regular gum, so you can build up your weaker side 10 times quicker. I even sell the stuff, steel jaw and gum. There's a link in the description. God damn it, how do I open this packet? <sighs> This is what it looks like, okay? So I chew that to improve my jawline, but you can also chew it to build up your weaker side. One more thing you wanna do is release the tension in the side that you've been chewing on where that muscle's bigger, because it's gonna be really tight. First thing I would do is just regularly massage your masseter muscles. You, this will help release the tension and make it easier for your face to realign. Sit like this, I have my thumbs. I just dig into the muscle here and just massage like this for just a few minutes every day. Uh, I chew a lot of mastic gum, so I have a lot of tension in my jaw here. Another one is called the lateral jaw stretch. Relax your jaw and push it to the side like this. Do that and push it to the side, hold it for 30 seconds, do it twice for both sides. Fix how you chew and then do those two. My favorite all time facial asymmetry correcting exercise. I'm not sure what to call it. Let's just call it the open and hold. Open your mouth as wide as you can and hold it there for 30 seconds like this. 
as you're holding it, try to stretch yourself and push it and try and stretch harder and harder. Don't do it too much. But holding after 30 seconds, you're gonna feel a lot of tension released all in your side of your face here. And it also trains your jaw to know what is directly up and down. So it's training your jaw. Oh, snap like a damn stapler. Snapping. <laughs> It's training your jaw to stretch and know how it should align. Bad posture. This is the most common cause of facial asymmetry. People's posture in modern times sucks. Camel and the side effect of that is facial disfiguration. Now, I'm not just talking about back posture. There's multiple things you are doing that are contributing to uneven flexibility in your neck and your spine and even in your face. Do you sleep on one side? Of course, you're gonna get at least a little bit of asymmetry if your one side of your face is being squished for eight hours every day. Make sure you're sleeping evenly on both sides or even better if you can sleep on your back, that's the best. Sleeping on your back is also better for deeper breathing, it makes it easier to breathe through your nose too, which we know is good for a lot of things. It's also makes mewing a lot easier. If you're sitting or standing, have your shoulders back and try to keep your back in a straight line. It's very easy to work at a desk and start hunching over. Muscle imbalances in your spine lead to muscle imbalances in your neck, which lead to muscle imbalances in your face which cause facial asymmetry. You need to have all these things lined up. Good posture in all ways. Be flexible and tension-free. Everything in your body is connected. People are always surprised when they correct their posture, how they become more attractive and their face becomes more symmetrical. Their face tightens up and they look healthier. But you shouldn't be surprised because I just told you. If you have sucky posture, you need to fix it ASAP because it will. Af it's affecting so many aspects of your health and appearance. It's really important, guys. Here's how to fix it. Here's how you can accelerate the correction of your bad posture. Hanging, go hang yourself from a pole with your hands. Relax the rest of your body and let your spine decompress. Do this a couple of times a week, three reps of like 20 seconds. If you can if you can hang for longer, that's, that's even better. Neck stretches, these make a big difference. They made a massive difference for me. I realized I could turn my head to one side more than I could turn it to the other side because I had a lot of tension on one side. This one's called the lateral stretch. Do this one, hold it for 15 seconds on both sides. Try and push your temple down to your shoulder. Don't have your shoulders hunched. Try to relax everything. That's an important one. Side to side. Remember to keep your body straight. Try and look as far as you can. Slowly back. 15 seconds on that side. 15 seconds on this side. Remember, keep everything relaxed. Keep your shoulders down. Up towards the ceiling. 15 seconds. Try and put your chin on your chest for 15 seconds. And then what you can do is draw a circle with your forehead do like 15 of these in one direction 15 of these in the other direction circles like this do these every day and when you're doing them pay attention to which side of your neck is actually tighter which side is more difficult because that's gonna be the side you're gonna work on in particular and I bet I bet that's gonna be the side that's your less attractive side for the golems and the weird 300 scuttling creatures out there you need to do more get your crooked ass to a yoga studio or Tai Chi or like however you get more flexible Pilates. Is that what that is? Good posture will make you look good, feel good, and you'll even get taller. That's pretty cool. Talking out of the side of your mouth. Have you ever seen someone talk like this? You know, talk out the side of the mouth. Have you ever considered that you might do that? I didn't realize that I did it until a few months ago. Now, of course, if you point your mouth in one direction whenever you're talking, of course, that's gonna train your muscles in your face to start aiming that way. This one can create asymmetry very slowly and it's really really hard to correct. It's not easy to just start using different muscles and start talking in a different way. Your voice will even change. How to fix it. First thing is to realize you're doing it consciously. Try to talk straight out of your mouth. Talk directly. Here's the exercise to fix it. It's called the side to side pout. It's basically what it sounds like. Feels weird, looks weird. All of this is just weird, man. Do like a hundred reps of that a day. Remember, all the stretches and exercise I'm talking about will help you for this one. If you want the best results, do all of them. Facial expressions. Your facial expressions, if you do them often enough, can change the shape of your face. You're using muscles and those muscles are what holds your face together. For example, can you do this? 
if you can only do it with one eyebrow, then this muscle is going to be more flexible and perhaps stronger. So it's going to hold this whole area in a different way to this side. So that's a common one for the reason this eyebrow might be higher or lower than the other one. Try to be aware of facial expressions you do and they're not all from one side of your face. Try to practice and learn how to do them from both sides of your face. Teeth fitting together. This is what caused my asym asymmetry. This is one that people get confused all the time with. The asymmetry you get from this one can happen really quickly, but luckily this one's pretty easy to fix. So my story is I got a retainer after having braces that's sitting on the back of my teeth and that's blocking my bottom teeth from fitting behind my top teeth <clears throat> smoothly, like with this guy, Derek. Derek's his name. I wanted my teeth to slide in smoothly behind each other, but I had this retainer in the way, so I tried to force it to make it work, and I moved my jaw, to, this is without me knowing it, I moved my jaw to the side so that my teeth could fit behind, and I thought, great, now I can actually close my mouth properly and tight. So what I had done was I had put my jaw to the side so that my teeth could fit behind my upper teeth. And what do you know, I had an asymmetrical jaw from that. Now you might not have a retainer, and most people don't. Not everyone's teeth are perfectly symmetrical, and not everyone's teeth are gonna slide right behind each other as you probably think it should work. I think even, even Tom Cruise has, has this problem. If you look at a line down his face, it runs right through one of his teeth. His teeth isn't in the center of his face. In order to be able to close your mouth, you might be misaligning your jaw and moving it to the side so that your teeth will fit together, but your jaw is actually to the side. Look at my teeth for example. You can see that my top teeth don't line up perfectly with my bottom. They're not like one, one. If I try and align them up like that, so, so that it's all symmetrical, then you would see that my jaw is to the side and that's creating an asymmetry. So what you have to do is accept that your teeth won't line up perfectly. It's more important that your face lines up. Once I figured all this out, I stopped trying to force my teeth to fit together and I just let my face sit how it was made to sit. And what do you know, my asymmetry started to go away. I think this one happens with mewing a lot because people think, okay, I have to have my mouth closed. I have to apply tongue pressure and to have their mouth closed, they close it in a way that isn't natural. They might move their jaw into an unnatural position and hold it there whilst they're mewing, pushing their face to one side. How to fix it, I've kind of gone over that, but all the exercises I've talked about before will help. Look in the mirror and try and see how can I align my jaw so that my face looks symmetrical. Do that and then it doesn't matter how your teeth look because it's about how your jaw structure should sit. Uneven tongue posture. This one mainly comes from people mewing, trying to force mewing on themselves when they're not ready and they're not exactly sure how to do it yet. They may be pushing on one side of their palate more so than on the other side and pushing their jaw to one side. Mm. Stop trying to force results with mewing, just rest your tongue lightly against the palate. I think this happens a lot with hard mewing because people want to apply a lot of pressure and they force their face into a position that's not natural. That's why I don't recommend hard mewing. I don't think most people are in a position to try it. You have to have had six plus months experience with regular mewing and seen that your face is improving and then you can try hard mewing. If you start off mewing wrong and then you do hard mewing, you're just going to accelerate the disfiguration. How can you fix it? Stop trying to force results with mewing. Do all the stretches that I've talked about before. Maybe even consider giving mewing a break until you correct your asymmetry and then you can try again. What people do is they have the tongue up on their palate, but they're pushing all on one side or pushing all on the other side when the pressure should be applied pretty evenly. This can also happen if you're pressing all the pressure up here around the tip. Remember, as we talk about all the time with mewing, the most important part is to apply pressure at the back. So if you're not doing that or you can't do that, just give mewing a break until you can correct your asymmetry. You can try again with more knowledge. You can take it a little bit slower and take it step by step instead of rushing into it. You have all the tools that you need to conquer facial asymmetry. Yeah, yes! Yeah. It's really great that you're working on your asymmetry. It took me years to figure out the jawline formula. That's what people are calling it. It'd be a shame if all that knowledge and experimentation would go to waste. It's condensed into three steps in this video. This is the most important video I've ever made and I'm really proud of all the people I'm helping with it. Please click on that and I'll see you there. Leave a like if you learned something, didn't like the video, then let me know in the comments how I can be better. I love when you give me feedback. As always, I appreciate your support. Have a fantastic rest of your day. We'll talk soon. Cheers.